Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my review of the Viper X uh, ROM for the HTC One X uh, from Team Venom. So guys, this is a very fast and snappy ROM, one of the best that I've seen, in fact the best ROM that I've used till date. It's got loads of tweaks and customizations, so as you can see the icons and all look a lot different. So let me start with uh, the first thing that actually impressed me about this ROM. Uh, the first thing is, uh, the ROM comes with something called the App Installer. So as that, just a moment. Yeah, App Installer from Team Venom. So how that works is when you when you uh, flash this ROM and you're setting stuff up, it scans your SD card and it goes ahead and selects any APK files that you might have. And uh, you can just select the APK file and install them onto your phone right when you're booting up uh, or right when you're setting the setting stuff up. So that is the first thing that impressed me about this ROM. So apart from that guys, in general the ROM is very fast and snappy. Uh, you've got mm, you've got all your uh, regular apps and you've got a few extras as well. So uh, I'll get to the extras in a minute. The first thing uh, you notice is it's again like I said very fast and uh, there are no force closes, there are, there are no laws of, I mean, laws of features, there's nothing that doesn't work that would work on a stock ROM. Uh, so, but when Team Venom is, uh, have also added a few of their own kind of tweaks. So, to start with, uh, the first thing you'll notice is the three keys over here have been remapped. Uh, this still remains as the back button, and this still remains as the home button, but this, instead of recent apps, becomes your menu button. And the uh, annoying three dot menu has also been removed. So, uh, let me quickly go into Venom Tweaks. So, uh, this is Venom Tweaks, and uh, this is one of the, uh, what do you say, unique features of this ROM. So what Venom Tweaks does is it lets you uh, it lets you play around and tweak this ROM to your liking, change anything you want to want about it. For example, let's go into status right now. So as far as the status bar is concerned, uh, as far as the status bar is concerned, you've got a quick settings option where you've got a lot of lot of options over here. You don't have to go into settings every time. You know if you want to just uh, you know change the rotation aspect as in uh, select your phone to auto rotate or not or you turn on Wi-Fi or for any reason you can just do it from the quick settings uh, and you can also hide and reorder the ones you don't want uh, so that's an option and you've got quick quick settings and what that does is when you have no uh, notifications and you pull down the bar it goes directly into quick settings again a handy little feature you can also theme the status bar uh, uh, say for example, what do you say? You can hide specific uh, specific notification icons. Uh, you can you've got battery options wherein you can change the style style of the battery. Over here you've got the circle kind of, kind of uh, battery notification. You can change it to the normal internal style. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as the circle. You can also hide the uh, battery icon altogether. Change the style of text. Uh, you can add the MIUI kind of battery bar, the one on top that shows, uh, let's, over here, something like this. You can add that if you want to. You can again change the back battery text uh, color settings, the MIUI battery bar color settings. Now, apart from that, you also have the clock options where you can cha change the style of the clock. Uh, let me quickly, I mean, turn off the MIUI battery bar. Okay, so under clock options, you can choose the clock style, uh, center the clock, or you can leave it as normal. Uh, choose the color of the clock, uh, set, or set a manual color with the hex value, high day MPM, and uh, again the clock widget and the weather widget, what uh, it does. I mean, uh, tapping on the widget, what app opens up, you can set that from this menu. Uh, you can also set a custom status bar logo. I don't have any 100 into 100 dot PNG images to show that to you guys right now. As far as high speed mobile data icon goes, again, you can uh, switch between any of these. Uh, you can change the uh, status bar transparency level. And the CM brightness control is an amazing feature. Uh, people who've used uh, the Galaxy Note or the S2, uh, what do you say, uh, the gingerbread versions of TouchWiz, you will have this, you will know this feature. Just tap the status bar and slide to remove to reduce brightness and slide this way to increase brightness. And remember, guys, this works only if your brightness isn't set to automatic. 
so going back to venom tweaks so that's a very very good option that's something that you know personally i've missed with the galaxy note and the s3 you know the android uh ice cream sandwich versions of touch do not support this so this is a very good uh feature you can hide the date from the notification area you can change the carrier carrier label background colors use a background image uh a dialogue style for recent apps default or android 4.0 so the default one would be uh, i'm sorry would be this way and the android 4.0 would be i'm sorry you need to restart the status bar <coughs> So I'm going to restart the status bar here. Just give it a minute. It's back. So there you see that's the default uh, Android kind of uh, uh, recent apps. Pretty decent again. And I'm moving on to Sense. Over here you can enable uh, the landscape mode. Uh, you can have set infinite scrolling. So if you have Okay, you need a full reboot for that, so I'm not going to do it. Infinite scrolling means you can uh, once you've got seven home screens, you go past the seven, seventh home screen, you come back to home screen number one. Uh, you, I've got scrolling wallpaper enabled already, so as you can see, the wallpaper scrolls along. And then icon, icon packs. So as far as icon packs goes, guys, uh, you can go to get more over here, and that'll take you. Uh, to Team Venom's icon packs that are available. There are not a lot available over here, but then again, all of uh, ADW's icon packs can will work uh, by default with this. Uh, with this, so uh, as you can see, these two are icon packs for ADW launcher. So you just need to go into the Play Store, search for any ADW icon packs, just get them, just download them, and once done, you can select them from here. So that's pretty decent. Again. And then you've got, you can increase the app draw, change the background color or use a background image for the app draw. And the cubic function is nothing but, when you swipe through this, you got the cube kind of uh, transition and that's that. Sorry. So now moving on to the button layout. So, uh, no. So over here, you can set the capacitive backlight, the long press home, long uh, as you saw, long long pressing home. Uh, would uh, right now I've got it set to going to HTC Speak. So long pressing on the home button will launch HTC Speak, and long pressing the back button will end the uh, open app. That's what I've set it for. And uh, the recent apps button, long pressing it opens up the recent apps available. Again, you can. Uh, switch around and select what works for you uh, the soft menu bar setting this option will disable the three dot menu bar and the again the uh, selecting this will hide the arrows from the keyboard I actually like the arrows so I'm gonna leave it there okay uh, one more important thing over here is the three finger gesture uh, what this does guys is uh, when it detects three fingers swiping it up down left or right you can select it to launch any custom app or any of these uh, uh, I mean uh, do any of perform any of these actions so I'm gonna <coughs> I'm sorry I've uh, set swiping the three fingers up to launch the camera so all you need to do here guys is use three fingers and just swipe up and the camera app launches so again that's a pretty decent uh, feature here going back to venom tweaks so you can set it for up down left right uh, just like I showed you guys and uh, moving on to the lock screen you've got the AOSP lock screen available uh, so this is what it is okay this is the sense lock screen uh, you need to do a full reboot so I'm not gonna do that right now uh, you got the AOSP incoming call workaround uh, which means it unlocks the device immediately when, I, when you get a call uh, again you can set the orientation of the uh, lock screen so select uh, the text to be displayed on top of the lock screen, hide the carrier label, hide date and time, shortcut, set the shortcuts on the lock screen. Again, you've got some other options over here as well. The volume key is what it does. 
uh, for music control with the lock screen I mean with the screen locked you can use the volume up down to wake enable slide to unlock so how what's la slide to unlock does is instead of pulling the uh, ring all you need to do is just swipe your finger from the back button to the recent apps button and the phone will unlock so uh, that's pretty much going into miscellaneous nope Again over here you've got your phone info, network mode, over scroll color, auto, auto back, you can manually set the auto backlight brightness. Uh, power menu items as in when you press and hold the power button what you get. Uh, MMS screen on which turns the screen automatically on when a message arrives. Exchange mail mode, custom navigation app. Instead of Google Nav, uh, disabling the boot sound, disable fast Thomasy. Disable HTC Smart Sync, which prevents Wi-Fi from disabling at night. And then you've got the Game Loft stuff, where you can uh, selecting this enables support for Game Loft games. And uh, again, selecting this will enable uh, Game Loft market. That is, gives you access to Game Loft games in the market, uh, which the One X would uh, normally not get. So going into Advanced, you can fix permissions, zip line all APKs. Uh, and you've got your free few options over here, and that's pretty much it over here. Now apart from this guys going in you also have something called uh, okay you also have something called where is that now yeah Venom Hub so going to Venom Hub uh, you can again get your icon packs for sense from here you can go ahead get themes for the status bar from here So you've got quite a few over here. Going back, and uh, you can uh, get a key and stay up to date with the news and so on. That's for Venom Hub. So one last thing, guys. Uh, okay, let me quickly. Go to sends and. Uh, show you guys get back to the default icon pack going back so as you can see you get your default icons back the icon packs work great uh, so one last thing here guys uh, one of the one of my favorite features about this rom is that this ROM receives over the air updates so you, you just need to go into settings as you would do normally for an Android phone go into software updates and uh, hit check now when you're connected to 3G or Wi-Fi and there you see a system update is available and the update is Viper X 1.0.0 to 1.0.1 so uh, that is again a very very good option over here you don't need to download the update and then go into clockwork mod and flash it uh, it's very easy to do it over the air so uh, that's pretty decent again now so guys as far as uh, you know this ROM goes and the battery life goes the battery life is pretty decent uh, this uh, I mean what do you say the phone has been on standby for most of the time uh, and as you can see I've gotten about uh, you know 40 hours but then again it's been on standby for most of this time it's only the last two three hours that I've actually been using the phone much uh, I am getting roughly over 20 hours for moderate usage, a few hours of uh, Bluetooth, a few hours of uh, 3G, uh, a video here and there and so on. I get about 20 plus hours so it's pretty decent as far as the battery life goes. And uh, guys let me quickly end this uh, review uh, by running the Quadrant Standard Benchmark. Let's see how it works. So there we have the results guys, uh, let me quickly hit yes here and there you see the device is hitting 4251 that's uh, slightly lower than what it shows for the One X but then again guys I've gotten varied results anywhere between 4200 4, to 4500 so uh, it's pretty decent this ROM again uh, now quickly moving on to the Antutu benchmark That 
So there you have it guys, uh, the roll score is 10,562. So that's pretty much it guys when it comes to uh, the review of the uh, Viper X ROM from uh, uh, Team Venom for the HTC One X. Uh, like I've said uh, multiple times throughout this review, this is one of the best ROMs, if not the best ROM that I've uh, reviewed uh, or come across for that matter. And uh, if you guys know me, I've been reviewing ROMs for the Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note and One X you know, for quite a while now. And uh, as far as customization, customizations go, I've not come across a ROM better than this. Uh, it's fantastic and uh, again, the speed stability wise, it's great. If you guys want to go ahead and flash this ROM on your device, uh, you can download the ROM from the link in the description that will take you to the uh, original thread, you know, for, uh, for this ROM on XDA developers. Just download the ROM from that link and there will be another link in my description which would uh, take you to the tutorial for installing the Core Droid ROM. Uh, the method is the same. Instead of using the Core Droid zip file, you're going to use uh, ViperX zip file, and that's all you need to do to actually flash this ROM onto your device. Uh, so, again, guys, if you guys have any kind of questions or queries, leave it in the comments section, or better yet, hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly in case it's something technical and uh, all my contact details are in the description uh, so uh, before you go guys make sure you hit the like button, like and subscribe buttons because I will be coming out with more videos for the One X and if you guys want to do me a favor uh, you know obviously share the video uh, on, on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, whatever uh, if you guys want to do me you know a different favor uh, use my links in the description to Amazon if you want to order any uh, One X accessories or if you want to buy the One X phone. Uh, use my links in the description that will take you straight to Amazon. I tend to make a few bucks of uh, if you end up purchasing something. Doesn't need to be uh, One X related actually. You can just use the links go and purchase anything off Amazon. Uh, no matter what you purchase, I get to make a few bucks. So if you guys want to help me out, do that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I guess I'm done here. So. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys, uh, I, um, I will see you soon with more videos, so till then have a great day, bye bye now.